The CNG facilities at the moment are a, are a very old porter cabin, um, very much in disrepair and in need of replacement and then obviously refurbishment. Um, it's used by the younger people from uh, the local schools, uh, from local clubs, and it needs to be of a standard that's usable, um, a standard where um, it's appropriate for Penrith Cricket Club. You know, we're proud of our cricket club and uh, and want people to see that they've you know they've got good facilities and and had a good day out playing cricket there. Um, we've worked with our colleagues in the district council and the town council and others, and between them, um, with our five thousand pounds. The Cricket Club have managed to raise the total of 13,500 and are able to do that refurbishment. It will be a new um, porch cabin yeah, with, uh, with all the facilities it needs for people to get changed to play cricket. I think there are something in the order of almost 20 teams of varying ages that play cricket at Penrith Cricket Club and you can imagine that's a whole range of, of different people and the more people that we can help, support, the better. It should be completed in time for this season, so that uh, when teams turn up from all over Cumbria, in fact all over the North West to play cricket in Penrith, they've got decent changing facilities. One of our um, streams of interest, one of our main priorities, is the health and fitness of the population, and Penrith Cricket Club actually attracts teams from all over Eden, in, in fact all over Cumbria, to to play in Penrith, um, not in this weather, but certainly in the summer, and um, therefore it's, um, it's, it's directly one of our priorities.